Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am filming a really fun, exciting video, one that I have been working up the anticipation to film for a while now. And this is going to be my customized Z palette video of swatches and everything that is in here. Um, so this palette itself is from Sephora, obviously, like the top of it says Sephora. And I have been building this palette over time. In here I have some Morphe, Makeup Forever, MAC, and Anastasia shadows. And they're just my favorite shadows. This is my everyday go-to palette. So I just wanted to swatch it for you guys and share the love. So if you want to see some swatches, continue watching. Okay, so to get started, I am going to go in with the first row. And these are in no particular order. They kind of go from lightest to darkest. But this first one right here is by Makeup Forever. And it is in the shade I-24. I like to use this a lot on the lid as a nice um, sheen. And it's really pretty. That is what that one looks like. It's really, really nice when it hits the light. And then I have Max Naked Lunch, which is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, I've used quite a bit of this shadow, as you can tell. It's kind of almost like a pearlized finish on it. I'm going to try to get some product because I have used quite a bit of this. That's it right there. It's just a really pretty pearlized pinky peachy sheen. It is absolutely gorgeous for under the brow bone. And then I have Morphe Sweets which is really really pretty. Also, this gives a little bit of a sheen. It's a golden color. It's beautiful all over the lid also. And then I have Morphe's Flawless, which is a beautiful matte color. It's kind of like a caramel color. favorite top three shadow ever and this is by Anastasia and it is Birkin. This color I'm constantly putting in my crease all the time and it is a beautiful blending color. Has a little bit more red than the last color. It's gorgeous. And then the last color for the top row is by MAC, and this is Soft Brown. This is another favorite all-time shadow. And great, great crease color. So those are the shadows in the top row. So now on for the second row, and the first one I'm going to go in with is Max Orb here, and this color is absolutely beautiful. It's a pinky white matte. It's just really good for an under the brow bone soft white color. It's right there. You can barely see it, but it is really really pretty for just under the brow bone then we have Anastasia's glisten this is life this is so freaking beautiful you guys and I just love to put this all over the lid beautiful and then we have Morphe sweet escape and it's a beautiful coral color. 
absolutely love this color. Next we have Peekaboo by Morphe. It's just a really pretty purplish pink color. We have Cotton or Candy Bloom. Mom's called the Cotton Candy Candy Bloom by Morphe, which is a darker, cooler toned color. It's almost like a purplish gray. It's really, really beautiful. We have Max Cory, which is another absolute favorite color of mine. And this is definitely a cool toned grayish purple. This is just great to pack on into the crease. I like to use these two together. We have Burnt Orange Matte by Anastasia. Great, great color. Absolutely beautiful in the crease. Well, that is Burnt Orange Matte right there. These are all the colors in the second row of my palette. And they're doing landscaping. And now for the third row. This is by Makeup Forever and this is the color I-634. And this is a beautiful cocoa brown with definitely a nice beautiful sheen to it. Right there, these Makeup Forever shadows are life. And then this is Magic by Morphe and it's a dark burgundy color. There was a fuzz on there. Um, and it has a really nice sheen to it. So pretty. And then we have a all time favorite top five <laughs> this is max cranberry this is one of the first shadows that i ever purchased and it is so pretty i know these two look a lot alike but they really aren't this has more purple to it this has more red to it so max cranberry and then we have celebration by morphe which is a cool toned grayish purple again and it's very very light so right there beautiful crease color I have swish chocolate by mac which is another favorite eyeshadow love this shadow this is perfect in the crease And it is just a beautiful chocolate brown color. And then the last shadow from row three is by Anastasia. And this is blazing. And this is a beautiful, almost like brick red color. Like, look at that. Oh. This color is so beautiful. It is row three. And now to start the fourth and last row. This is by Makeup Forever and this is in the color I-606. And it is just a beautiful deep plum. And it's an iridescent shadow and it pulls a lot of brown, but it definitely is purple, and it's beautiful. This color is really, really nice in the crease. And this is by Morphe, and this is Undress Me, and this is a nice, deep, purplish brown matte. You will see a trend with this last row. It's my darker rose, and this is a little bit cooler of a matte and then I have I Heart You by Morphe this is really really nice and pretty it's a kind of deeper purple color 
And it's a matte. Really, really nice in the crease. These three colors go together really well. And then next I have Private Agent by Morphe. And this is a deeper berry purple. with some brown undertones. And then this next one is just a true brown and I nicked it. Uh, and this is Mocha by Morphe. Beautiful brown. Pardon the children screaming. The pool is right outside of my apartment, literally. Our clubhouse pool. Beautiful brown. And then the last shadow in the palette I wanna talk about is by Makeup Forever and this is M600 and this is just a brownish purple just gorgeous gorgeous color. This is a very popular color of theirs. It's more brown than purple but you can definitely see the purplish reddish hue that comes off in this color. This is gorgeous. So this is the last row, row four. My deepest shades. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.